we found a geocache. And we're gonna see, we're gonna open it up and see what's in it. What's in it. At South Shore Family Adventures, we're on a mission to share our favorite hiking trails and outdoor adventures so you can get outside, get some fresh air, and have fun with your kids without the screens and technology. Today we're hiking in Easton, Massachusetts at Borderland State Park. This place is huge. There are so many different trails here that you could come here multiple times and see different parts of the park each time. Today we're going off the beaten path and trying to stay away from the crowds and taking the west side trail to start. This place can get really busy on the weekends, especially on a really nice day. So get here early or be prepared to be with crowds or take a less traveled trail to try to stay away from other folks. You can tell we're kind of antisocial. Borderland State Park offers over 1,800 acres of beautiful land in Easton and Sharon, with over 20 miles of hiking trails ranging from moderate to difficult. Mountain biking, canoeing and kayaking, fishing, horseback riding, and disc golf are some of the other activities you'll find here. At the heart of the park is the historic Ames Mansion, built in 1910. Various movies have been filmed here, including Mermaids, Shutter Island, the 2015 Ghostbusters, and most recently, Knives Out. You can see here the path we're taking today. We took the West Side Trail to the French Trail, to the Northwest Trail, to the Split Rock Trail, to the Granite Hills Trail, and finally back to the parking lot on the Pond Walk Trail. Parking here at Borderland is definitely a five. There's a huge lot that you can see behind me. However, on a really nice weekend day, it fills up fast. So you wanna make sure you get here early or have a backup in case it's full. The other thing is it does cost $5 to park here. So keep that in mind as well. If you have a DCR parking pass, those will work here. Overall, we give it a five because the lot's pretty big, but it's definitely better to come here during the week if you can. Most people follow the main trail into the park, but we're taking the west side trail loop, which is a little bit less traveled and you have a little bit more of the trail to yourself. If you're looking for a shorter hike, you could just stay on this west, uh, this west side trail. It'll bring you back to close to where we started, but we're gonna extend our hike just a little bit and take this French trail here and go a little bit further. So here's a trail tip. Trails that have large boulders are always ahead. The trails that we're on today are probably not even jogging stroller friendly and definitely not regular stroller friendly. There are trails here that are stroller friendly and even some that are just jogging stroller friendly, but probably not this one. So consult the trail map. You can find a link to the trail map in the description below.
Carlos, what's your favorite part? Spending time with the family. Pasar tiempo con la familia. This trail has lots of rocks and really steep parts. So we give it a two for terrain. You never know what's gonna amuse the kids. This time, it's drumming with sticks. We give this trail a four for navigation. You really do need to bring this trail map with you. But the trails are marked with these places, but there are signs that mark the entrance entrances to different trails. We're taking a left on the Northwest Trail. So one of the things we love about this trail is it's not that far off the beaten path, but despite the parking lot being full to the max, we've crossed probably maybe four or five other people this whole time. So here's a trail tip. This is Split Rock Trail. This is one of our favorite trails in all of Borderland. See if your kids can find the Split Rock. One thing you can look for when you're out on the trails are marking trees like this one, which I think this is a marking tree. Trees were bent into this like L, this very sharp L shape by Native American people to mark trails back a long time ago. And some of these trees have still grown in that shape from being pulled in that direction. There we go, now you can see it. And of course, just about every New England trail has a stone wall just like this one going through the middle of the woods and it seems completely out of place, but these were actually borders between farms at one point, and the land has now been overgrown with trees and forest, but the stone wall is still there, marking sort of the, uh, uh, as a fence almost, marking the border between what would have been two pieces of farmland. Pretty cool that they're still here, even though they seem out of place to us now. Now we're going to take a right at the Granite Hills Lower Trail. We found a geocache. And we're going to see, we're going to open it up and see what's in it. What's in it.
So we're heading back to the parking lot on what's called the Pond Walk Trail, which is probably one of the most heavily trafficked trails. So we've definitely run into more people on this trail, but it's wide and flat as you can see behind me. And it's a nice easy way to get back to the parking lot. We give this drill a 4 for interest level because there are lots of rocks and boulders to climb on while you're hiking. There are geocaches in Borderlands and a really cool pond. And you can check out the old mansion too. Before we go on to our next adventure, take a moment to like this video, share it with someone else you think might like it, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an adventure. We're on a mission to share the best hiking trails and things to do with kids on the South Shore. If you have a suggestion for where we should go next, leave us a comment below. Now here's another great video.